Hey, it's Punchlines, and today we are talking to Ralph Nader, an American icon, the original public interest lawyer, a man who's dedicated his life to fighting for consumer rights and government transparency. Perhaps he's best known for his landmark crusade for auto safety. Think seatbelts, airbags, and cars that don't explode into flames when they're rear-ended. Nader's activism has been directly credited with the passage of several landmark pieces of American consumer protection. He's also run for president four times, but we're not going to talk about that today. The core of his work throughout his long career has centered on what is called tort law, a little recognized but hugely consequential aspect of our judicial system. Let's see if we can draw Ralph Nader out. So Ralph, what the heck is tort law? Tort law is the law of wrongful injury. It's street crime, it's corporations selling defective products like automobiles or pharmaceuticals, producing pollutants that are toxic and give people respiratory ailments and cancer. We inherited tort law from medieval England and it came across the Atlantic and uh, it's the law of wrongful injury. In the medieval times, uh, it developed with a right of trial by jury in order to avoid revenge killings and revenge counterattacks. Tort law is much more complicated than a uh, law about pies and quiches and torts. So it really comes down to personal and corporate responsibility. It's holding people accountable for their actions. It publicizes bad behavior so people can either alert themselves and not buy certain products or they can pressure their lawmakers to establish mandatory safety standards the way we did for automobiles and other products in this country. Things like the famous, uh, you know, three million dollar lawsuit over the hot cup of coffee um, in, at McDonald's, or the twenty-seven million dollar uh, uh, settlement with George Floyd's family. Those are those are examples of tort law. Yes, they are. Wrongfully injured people very rarely even go to a lawyer. The vast majority of wrongfully injured people swallow their grievances. Talk a little bit about the uh, Museum of Tort Law. In two thousand fifteen. We opened the American Museum of Tort Law in Winston, Connecticut, and we were told it was the only law museum of any kind in the world. People walk in and they say, now I know that I have a, a tool. I have something with which to fight back. If someone wrongfully injures me or some company uh, damages my health and safety. Tort is like a great big hammer, and the little guy can use it and bring it down on the toe of the great big fat cat and get their attention and maybe even instigate some regulation and laws. The law must be in the hands of the people if it's going to be used, if it's going to grow and develop in order to establish a healthy and safer society and world.